Hi ladies, how's your day? I hope you guys are all doing good. Is everybody doing good today? Tell me what's going on in your world. I am just trying to get all my stuff re refreshed and seeing if I can see. Oh yay, okay, awesome. So how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if somebody would go to our Facebook group and post the, uh, sorry, I've got a huge mess on my desk, you guys. Can you tell I've been working on all kinds of stuff? I was working on a bunch of stuff yesterday, and I made a huge mess on my desk, and I haven't cleaned it off. Hi, Susan. Hi, Ash. Well, why don't you guys go and post over on our Facebook group that, that I'm on. I'm just trying to clean up my mess so we can actually start. I made a big old mess on my desk. Oh, I'm telling you girls, how's it going? What's going on with you guys? Tell me what's going on in your world. What is going on in your world? I am... Hi, Michelle. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Mine's not as good as yours. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Hey, Ash, can you copy and paste the link? Hey, Scotty, and put it in our Facebook group. Is that if it, if you can't, let me know, and I'll start. I'll um. I will do it. So I started. What's up with you guys? So I started um doing some more embellishing, and I made a big mess. I worked on I worked on making embellishments last night, some embellishments, and I made a big mess on my desk, and so I'm just going to clean it off for a second. I should have done it before now, but I didn't. I wasn't prepared. Actually, you want to know the truth? I was looking. So you guys know my ridiculousness with, with my... I was trying the calamari method of organizing, and... After trying the calamari method, which I failed at, <laughs> I I um I was the conmari method, but Susan called it the calamari method. Anyway, I we had an electrical issue, and now we're having the electric worked on. So then I had to take all my calamari methods and move it all into boxes in the garage. And so I'm sort of more disorganized than I am normally. So to make a rid ridiculously long story short, I was gonna. I, I was planning last week. I I put all my stuff together so we could sew our journals together. And I think the box with my with my needles got put into the garage, and I just couldn't do it. Hi, Simply Sassy. Tell us what your first name is. Hi, Andrea. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Cass. If you guys want to chat with me or you have a question for me, make it live, uh, make it in all caps. So anyway, to make a very long story short, I cannot find my needles. I just spent like an hour looking for them. And finally, one of you lovely fellow crafters said, let it go. And so, you know what? I'm letting it go. I just... So we'll sew it together next week. What we'll work on today is... Uh, sorry, I want to make sure it's... My daughter is uh, out. I want to make sure she's texting me that she's good. Hi, Brenda! Hi, Lynn! You made envelopes, Carrie? Awesome! Awesome, awesome! So we're still working on our Shabby Chic Journal, and for those of you that are just joining us, we are in the process, and if you go back and look at the live past live streams, you'll see, and we're in the process of making this little envelope. I'm sorry, my desk is so messy, you guys. I've just, I've, it, it's been a mess. So we're, we made this little envelope. We covered it with a napkin. This is going to be the cover, right? And inside has some sheet music. And today I was looking for, um, and then we made two signatures, and they have like 13 pages each of different tea dyed, coffee dyed papers. And this isn't my normal junk journal. You guys know me. I'm a normally a, a trashy junk journal, or I make stuff from uh, junk mail and stuff like that. This was my, 
Oh no, you waited 30 minutes yesterday before you realized it was Monday? Hi, Anne. So, hi, Miss Malone. Hi, Nicole. So, it's not too late to start one of these journals. And I just want to preface this by saying that, you know, you can make any journal the same process, whether it's a trashy junk journal. And I don't know if I have one close by. I have one. You guys know I have my favorite junk mail journal, but I don't know where it is right now. Since I moved everything out in the garage, so my sweetie was helping me yesterday doing some stuff. And hi, Diana. And I think he might have taken my stuff and put it in the garage. So I was just trying to decide. I was looking through my stash of stuff. And I, you guys know I have like a lot of stuff. And at one point, this was a couple of years ago, I printed out these printables. These are like French um, Valentines. So I was just trying to think of like, this is all I had though in printables and I don't have a color printer right now. I do, but I haven't bought any ink. So these are the only color prints that I had if I wanted to use one of them for the front of my journal. So I haven't decided that. So that's why I thought maybe I might cut up a couple of these and see if they're, if anything rings true. If something rings true and I go, oh, I really love that. Um, or I may just put flowers on it. So today we're going to make some embellishments. Because I can't find my needle and thread. I have a whole box of needles. It's not even like one needle. It's like a shoe box full. Like a plastic shoe box full of my book binding stuff. And I think it ended up in the garage. Which is okay. I had to let it go. I was talking to one of you guys earlier. And I was stressing myself out. And she was like, let it go. So I kind of like her. She might be too big. So she might be. She's a little big for the front cover. So. Tell me what's new in your world. Hi Lisa. You guys just shout it out to me. So it, it shout out who's here if I miss you. It's not on purpose. I promise. So I don't even know if I'm going to put a picture on the front. But maybe I will. These are just some printables from Pinterest I think. I don't, or I don't know, or somebody sent them to me. I can't, honestly, you guys, I was going through my stuff. I don't even know where they came from. But I know that they're printed on heavier cardstock paper. So, I don't know. I just need to move my craft table to the garage. You know what? I would do that, except you guys, the winds blow here. And it's bad. Well, no, they're going to finish. Hopefully, they'll finish our electric in the next week or so. You know, it's been a slow going thing because they had to run new lines. And it's just, and now I have to wait till they repatch the wall before I can move my bookshelves back in. So everything's there. You know what it's like? It's like moving without the benefit of moving. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. So shout out and tell me who all's here. And tell me what you guys are. Tell Charlie to go lay down. Charlie is in the chair with me. Okay. Charlie already started crying. And I just put her in the chair with me. So I will tell you a couple things that I've come to in making this little journal. Which, because you know, you guys know I like more trashy, junky, make it from junk mail. I have nothing, no problem with this. But I'm not used to plain. So I started like looking at things that I had so I thought maybe we could do some more embellishing today and since I think the images that I found while I was looking are too big for the cover and I don't have one that I really love I mean I like this little girl but she's too big so and I don't want to have to cut her down so Charlie's actually crying in the chair with me because Charlie wants to be on my lap instead of unless I cut her out I don't know this was what I thought, kind of. I'll show you guys what I'm thinking about for the cover, but I, it's, I'm not 100% married to it yet. I was looking at it yesterday and need some vines and stuff. I don't know. So this is what I was thinking about for the cover. I'll show you guys so far. Let me see if I can find all my mess here. So I... Does anybody else's desk look like this, or is it just mine? Is it, have I just cornered the market on... On 
messes. So I was thinking about making I was thinking about making um, just putting flowers on top of it you know because I made all those flowers you guys I'm dropping stuff off my tiny table this tiny card table is so small it's a, it's a vintage card table on top of it all okay so I was thinking about putting I cut yesterday if I can find it what are you why are you crying you know why she's crying because the kids are outside and she wants to be outside but she won't stay with them and I don't want her running in the road so she's just gonna have to hang out with me and she's not happy Oh no, you guys, she's really going to go for it. So I was thinking of putting, I cut out a book, a book page doily, which I have to find it. I was thinking of doing something like this. Maybe I need a, I think I made a smaller one, a smaller flower as well. But maybe a couple of my shabby chic flowers on the front, and then I was going to do some, I'm going to put her down. What is wrong with you? If you want to get down, get down. Nobody's making you stay up here. Want to get down? Go. Go play. So, what are you guys writing? I'm missing it all. Hi, ba Hi, Valerie. So, what is close up tight? Hi, Renee. Oh, you're being inspired in the kitchen. Are you cooking? So, I'm thinking about this, and I made a book page doily out of that. Shakespeare book, but I don't see it on my desk, so who knows where it ended up. But I got this cool die. It's a Sizzix die. I can't really see it. I tried to cut it out of a, out of a. Uh, I should have run it through twice, I guess. Um, I cut this, this um, doily out of a book page, and I thought that could be part of my cover. So tell me what I. So tell me what it's what's going on with you guys. <laughs> Scotty, it's okay. You know what? We're all in the same technological boat. We're all in the same technological boat. Hi, Tina. You're so tired because you you're tired. You can hardly move. What happened? Hi! Did you guys go over? Hi, Carla. Did you guys go and watch Carla today? Carla did, which I loved, which I don't have any. Which one of you girls is in love with Inca Gold? Is it you, Michelle? One of you girls on over here is in love with Inca Gold, too. Well, Carla used Inca Gold. She worked in her Anything, anything book. Is it an Anything book or an Everything book, Carla? She worked in her Anything Everything book, and she made, so it, it was it was amazing. I loved how it was coming out, so let me clean off my crazy desk and we can start. I'm sorry, guys, because I thought we were going to be sewing. I wasn't, like, prepared. I was just going to move everything off. So you, Anything Goes book, you guys have to go over and watch it. If you guys haven't done any glue booking or any, um real collage like jumping in and doing really doing some collage go head over to Carla caged fish is her name and I know I've linked her videos in some of mine but I'll do it at the end of this video too. link her channel she streams live every Tuesday on Ustream at 2 o'clock Eastern time whatever whether it's daylight or standard and she um, does a lot of really cool stuff but it'll introduce you to if you've never tried to do any collage, it'll introduce you to the collage, you know, to the world of collage. But today she worked on her Anything Goes book, and I love that. I haven't started an Anything Goes book, but I will. So what I thought I'd do today is, um, remember that old Shakespeare book that I got last week? You did fall in love with that stuff. You made me want to get it. You know, Carla, I'm like, I'm on a spending freeze right now. And so... I, I, but I definitely, I know I have some ink of gold, but I don't have them in all the colors you have. Hi, Susan. Hi, Rock Paper. Tell us your name if you don't want us to call you that. So, 
Yeah, you have to watch her. She's really inspirational. And last week, remember one of the member Luana sent me those book pages, the that little those little journals with the folds came from the way she folded on that pocket. Those tag pockets came from Carla. Carla has a video on those, and um, Luana said she she worked on them and she made them from that. So remember, I told you guys saw last week my Shakespeare book that I got. Well, I made these tags. Oh, don't feel bad, Carla. I always want something. <laughs> Some things are really important. I agree. Okay? No, I like all that stuff. Are you kidding? You know, I just, I've kind of decided, I kind of put myself on a self-imposed spending freeze because I wanted to, I'm trying to reorganize my craft room, okay? And it's not going as well as I'd like. So, and so that's the only reason why. It's not because I really need to be on a spending freeze, but, you know I want to put myself, I, I was telling the girls earlier that I was talking to, I'm putting myself on a, a, a I've been doing the, the KonMari method, method, or as Susan calls it, the Calamari method, where you, um, you know, where, where you, you we keep only what you love and you let it go. Well, I'm going a little further than that. I'm keeping, like, only what I really think I'm going to use for right now. So I'm going to make some embellishments for this journal. So what I wanted to, isn't that terrible? I love it though. You can't wait for what, Michelle? I miss so much you can't wait for. I miss, the, I miss what you guys said. So, if you guys want to make along with me today, I'm going to make some embellishments. I wanted to show you a couple. Remember I showed you the ones I was doing? Let me see. I think I already put them in this journal. You guys, I was ready to like, I was really ready to, because I've never made these frilly journals. I was really ready to sew it in because I can't find my my sewing. One of the girls said I'd find it after I got off offline. I said, yeah, you're right. So, um, I'm going to make some clips, some paper clip embellishments and some other embellishments. I thought maybe I'd make some flags and some other stuff. And, you know, get out your book pages. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use book pages and, oh, here it is. This was that die that I, I should have told you guys that I, I got. I got this the Sizzix Thinlets die. No, it's a Sizzlets die. It's kind of big, but it made this beautiful. Carla says she's on a spinning freeze also, so she knows how it feels. <laughs> you know what? It's just I have to draw the line somewhere. I have too much stuff right now. And it's not necessarily stuff I really want. You know, it's like... So, so I got this die, and I'll tell you... I'll put the description in the... I'll put the name of the die in the description box after our, our... So I got this die, and I love it. It's a Sizzlitz die, so it's like a... One of those little... It's not a just metal. It has like a little backing on it. And this is from that book that's falling apart. You know, that beautiful um, Shakespeare book that I'm in love with. And so I used some of the pages from from that. So that I was thinking of putting on the cover. I, I think I might need to paint it, but this is what I was going to... I was thinking of layering the cover with this, with this die, and then some of those flowers that I was making, and maybe an image. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, I'm gonna use it at mode too, Carla. I'm just like over it. You know, it's like I have too much stuff, and I just gotta let it go. I gotta let it go. I just gotta let it go. I have too much. It's ridiculous, you know. So this is what my thought was. This is what I was going to show you. So I was going to put those those bigger flowers. Remember I made? I don't know how many of them I made. After I got off the air with you guys last week, I made more. I didn't burn my finger, but I made some more flowers. And it definitely needs some sort of bling. I don't know exactly know what. This flower might be too big because it's just a little envelope journal. But I was thinking of doing a couple of flowers. Yes, I'm going to make paper clip thingies. I was going to sew our journal together, but I'm going to make paper clip thingies. Okay, so you can get your serendipity paper out, or book pages, or scrapbooking paper if you want. So, this is what my thought is so far. I may tea dye some, I may dye the flowers. You know, or I don't know. I haven't quite, I haven't quite made a decision. But that's, that's kind of where it's going right now. Yes, 
you know what? The pieces come out really easy because the die, I'll get it and I'll show it to you while we're talking about it. And then I can tell you what it's called. It's just right across the room. I set up my dyeing station, my die cutting station across the room because I was trying to, um, while the people were working on the electric, Yeah, I like these dies. Some of them are a little more tricky to use, but this one's actually really easy to use because it is this kind of die, you know? It is called, it's called Sizzlet's Large Paper Doily, and it comes like this. Can you see it? Hi, Amberly. Hello, son. So, and it cuts really easy. So it's one of these. Instead of just being the metal bits, it's um, it's got that spongy part. It's still a metal die, but it's you know got this on it, and it's easy to use. So that's what I use for this. It's called Sizzlet's Large Paper Doily Die. Can you guys see the name of it? I don't know if it's in frame or not. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. Hi, Rose. So that's the die. That's what I'm contemplating on the cover. I would like a little vintage picture. I just don't know what yet. So get out your serendipity paper if you guys want to make some embellishments. This is a steel die. This is a steel, it's steel inside. Yeah, I may tea dye the flowers. I don't know. It's just what I have right now. I may, or I may, I could, I could color them as well. I don't know. Good suggestion though, Anne. Very good suggestion. So that's just the thought. So I was just sharing that. I was actually contemplating thinking of it. How many of you guys made all these crazy paper flowers that we made last week? How many of you guys made the paper flowers and made the fabric flowers that we made last week? I got a note from a couple of you going, this is really addictive. And it is really addictive. I totally agree. But now you'll never go buy another Prima flower again. You can make them with less petals and have, you know, a more, um, I don't know, a more, a, a less busy, a less busy thing. So get your book pages if you want to make some. Book pages or magazine pages. I'm just moving, trying to clear off my little tiny space. Um, book pages, magazine pages, paper clips, um, serendipity paper. You could even do it with flowers. So I got a little bit of all of the above on my desk here in my, in my mess. So, so we can make some paper clips. I was going to show you, I put, made some and put them in here and, so, and we can make little tags too. Sorry, I've got so much of a mess going on. I want to, and then I thought maybe we could do some, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking I'm contemplating stamping on some tissue paper and gluing it on. Um, I'm not the best stamper. So as far as positioning the stamps or getting a clear stamp, so I don't really want to ruin my blank pages without, you know, I think I'm going to do it on tissue paper and then uh, glue it down. That's my thought. I was looking, I put some other paper clips in here, but some other um, embellishments, but I don't, let me see if I can find them. You don't have a die thing. You know what? You don't necessarily need one. You can get, there's punches and all kinds of other things you can get, and you don't really even need a die cutting machine. If, you, if you're into fussy cutting, you can, do, you can fussy cut and do the same thing. If you do it the same way, you make a snowflake. You know, have, didn't you make snowflakes as a kid? Well, buy doilies. So this is one of the tags that I started making that Shakespeare book, and this is another one of those um, serendip the paper clips that I made from serendipity paper. Amberly, you know what? There's nothing wrong with fussy cutting. I really enjoy it. So you know, one of you guys told me cranky cutting. 
But see how cool that that comes out? And it just has, it's just glued onto a pasta box. It was serendipity paper glued onto a pasta box with a paper clip where I notched it and put it in. And then it has some dimensional water-based glaze on top. I like diamond glaze, but you can use... Serendipity paper is that one-of-a-kind paper that we made a couple of weeks ago. I have some sheets of it on my desk. I didn't give it that name. Don't ask me where the name came from. I just had a friend that came to visit me, and she said one time when I was making this, you guys know my crazy, ridiculous story about this is how you start it. You take a book page, and you start gluing bits and pieces. Let me see if I have some here. You glue bits and pieces on your paper, and then, and this is, these are all you know, pages, scrap pages and stuff that I have. Scrap papers. Um, and you glue them onto a found, you glue them onto a sturdier book page. You can use fragile book pages to glue on top. Then you paint on it, stamp on it, and then you cut it up for your embellishments. So it just gives you one of a kind. You could also, I mean, this, mine are a little busy because I think personally I like the busier the better, but that doesn't always work for everybody. So, Scotty, what are you saying? You had a bag of, a big bag of stuff, and you took it to someone? I miss, I miss the whole, I missed the conversation right after I paid it. Oh, you're saying that there's some a little girl there and you and you took her all your craft supplies. That's awesome. You can use chipboard carry, but it's a little thick. You know, it's better to use your actually your packaging is better. Okay, so the idea, so the story of my paper thing was when I first paper crafted or when I first thought that you when I first got interested in paper, making paper, things on paper, I thought that the whole idea was to make everything, like, make everything yourself. Like, I didn't, it didn't ever occur to me that you would go and buy all this expensive patterned paper for, like, your backgrounds and your journals and your stuff like that. So, I was making my own one of a kind paper. I would paint on paper and I would paint on, like I would take like, these are some of my painted papers. Like I would paint on paper, I would, um, at the time I, I don't know if I, I don't think I had a jelly printing plate, but I did like styrofoam printing, you know, like you can do the same thing. And I made on, on magazine pages and then I was doing, all, and put some masking tape and I don't know, spray inks that I'd made myself or whatever and I glued it all down onto paper and I made what I called one of a kind paper. She just happened to be visiting me and she told me the name of it was serendipity paper. Yes, I thought you made everything for something that was called a junk journal. Yes. Well, no, it wasn't that. It's just that, okay, I have nothing against digi kits. Hear me clearly. And I have nothing against buying really nice scrapbooking paper. But when I think, when I make something that's handmade, I'm used to making it from scratch. Like I'm not used to like going and buying a paper pad and then making a book and calling that something I made. Do, do you get, I mean, it's just where I am. It's like cooking, you know, it's like I call cooking, I usually cook from scratch, right? Meaning either from fresh or dried or what dried ingredients or fresh ingredients. I call it cheater cooking if I use a box of something. Like if I use a box of cornbread mix and I add all kinds of stuff to it, I call that cheater cooking. So it's just where I'm at, you know. So that's how this whole thing came about for me. I don't know where it originated in, honestly. It just she happened to be come over and she saw, if I can get one of the books back from my daughter, one of my daughters that I made, you'll see inside is filled with all these embellishments of hand, with handmade with handmade paper. I mean, I even made my own, um, you know, my own screen to make my own paper. I made it, you know, it wasn't perfect, but I did. So, 
She told me it was called serendipity paper, and I assume it's it's made. I, I assume it was a scrapbooking term, but I'm not a scrapbooker, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Cats, you're so funny. So that's what I took to make these little paperclip embellishments. All right, and these are free cut. These are not cut with a die cutting machine, but it's the same paper. So if you're making something or you have a color palette that you want, I enjoy handmade too. So that's just where I am. I can, I've can. i made my own paper for years. I mean, I've been bookbinding. I'm old, you guys. I'm not young. I've been bookbinding for probably 35 years, maybe longer, because I'm not that young. So I've been doing paper crafting for a long time, but from the scratch paper crafting, like where you make your own painted paper, where you make your own paste paper, where you mar marbled your paper, where you did all of that, you know? So making paper, I find it therapeutic. Not everybody wants to do it, right? I find it therapeutic. I make my own paper from junk mail. I'll show you guys sometime. So this is how I make paper and get my own put my own energy into it, put my own touch on it so mine are going to be different I got them glossy because I use this stuff called diamond glaze it's it's a dimensional adhesive and I like it, this bottle I've had for probably two or three years and it, I've still got a ton in it and I've made all kinds of <laughs> thanks Cass I've made all kinds of um, paper clip embellishments from magazines and I use this on top. It gives it a hard, it gives it like a hard surface. It also works as a glue. Can you see? It gives it like a adorable surface. I don't know if they make it in a matte, a matte thing. Hi, Rafaela. How are you? Welcome, everybody. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do today. This is what I've decided. And I promise next week we'll sew our journal together. So if you've made your own serendipity paper, you can definitely make your one-of-a-kind embellishments from that. If not, get a magazine. And I'll even show you guys how I farm for them there. I'm also going to, I think I'm going to make some paper clip embellishments, like some little banners. I went and I found my... Oh, guys, where did I put it? I went and I found... You guys, I brought it over here with me, but I can't find it. I found an envelope that has, like, all my scraps. Like, I don't know, how do you guys... How do you guys save your scraps? I'll show you... I'll show you... Some of mine. I have... I save my scraps a bunch of different ways. Hey, you guys, shout out and tell everybody where you're from. I live in Hawaii. My first name is Shelly, and I live in Maui, Hawaii. What's with the needle? No, it's right over here next to me. It's not with a needle in the garage. I found it. You guys are laughing at me. If you came to my house right now, you would be like, why are you even doing this? You would, you would be like giving it up and like saying, wait till you get it all clean. So I store my stuff in accordion files, and I showed you guys how to make accordion files a few a few streams ago, maybe many streams ago. And this is mine. So this one just has like all kinds of all kinds of stuff I use, and it's just made out of a magazine. This was actually a throwaway magazine, and in the back I have some tissue paper that you know I lay down. So sometimes if I'm not, and I have magazine cutouts of, I like fashion divas. Do you guys ever cut, cut out that? Melbourne, Florida in the house. West Virginia in the house. New Jersey in the house. Michigan. Brazil. Awesome. New Jersey. Daytona Beach. California. Minnesota. Ontario, Canada. Awesome. Houston, Texas. So 
Anyway, if you guys haven't gone and watched one of my Make Yourself a Magazine accordion file, it's like a lot of fun and it's a good way to keep like bits and pieces in it. Lakeland, Florida. How do you like Lakeland? Is it awesome? Indiana. Wow, Indiana, awesome. Where is Marvala? Ma is it Marvla? Where is that Miss Malone? Or is it Miss Maloney? New York City. You know, I moved from New York City to Hawaii. I used to live in New York City. So anyway, this is my, one of my, this is how I store some of my paper bits. So also inside this will be, also inside this folder I have all these little tinier paper bits. See, this is how the ridiculousness starts, girls. This is how the ridiculousness starts. So I'm just going to make a bunch of embellishments from all kinds of stuff. So and then I have little envelopes of scrapbooking paper things too. Fort Smith, Fort Smith, Arizona. No, Arkansas. Fort Smith. And Valerie's from Oahu. You made my heavy envelopes today. How did it work? Did you like it? One of you guys posted in our Facebook group, which I'm really grateful for. The envelopes that you guys made, they came out beautiful. So I save all these little tiny bits. Do you guys ever save all these? This is ridiculousness. This is like the tiniest bits from scrapbook, scrapbook paper pads. <laughs> Dawn, you have your own brand of ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, Don! Don, I loved your Christmas card. I love that Santa Claus stamp. Don't get you started, Carla. Oh my God! Oh, you can come and play hooky in Hawaii. It's really hot right now. Is it hot? Is it hot on Oahu, Valerie? It's burning up where I am. Tina, your envelopes were gorgeous. Very, very, very gorgeous. Susan is from New York, too. Awesome. Dawn, your Christmas cards were, like, amazing. <laughs> okay, do you see how ridiculous this is? So, uh, that's why I, can't, I have to stop my spending spree. I can buy paint. You guys, I have, like, all these bits. So, I'm going to use them, and I'm going to make some paper clip embellishments. So, for those of you that want to make along with me, I'm going to make you guys my... Ridiculous paper clip embellishments. Okay, so what I'm gonna make today. So I'm just gonna get, dig through my ridiculousness, and I am going to. Okay, you know what else I love, you guys? This is gonna seem so stupid, and you guys probably already know this. Okay, you know those old readers' digests? The pages are terrible, but look at the images that come. The pages. They're not good for junk journals, but what's good is if you go through the, the covers I love, the covers I make a lot of junk journals from those. They have beautiful, I don't have one near me, but they have beautiful decorative covers. Readers to Old Readers Digest compiled um, books, but look at the images inside of them. They're just beautiful. So I, I save the images, I save the flyleaf, and I save the... Um, the images I just it, and they're thin the paper's thin so they're not um, you have to glue them on top, top of something so for those of you that are gonna do our make along continue and do our make along series on Friday um, Friday we're gonna make the Christmas cards we're gonna make Christmas cards from our junk mail so you can come along they're not going to come out as beautiful as Dawn's Christmas card. Anne says she's outside by the fire and it's a lovely night. Oh, it's so hot here. I, I feel like I'm at a fire. Scotty says she has her scraps organized by size in a laundry basket. Awesome. That's morphing out the door. <laughs> oh, you need the calamari method. You need the calamari method. Oh my gosh. So we're going to make Christmas cards on Friday. So save your junk mail for Friday. Okay. So I will show you how we can make a couple of different kinds of uh, paper clip embellishments. I like the, I like the, uh, 
You guys know me. I like the do-it-yourself. I like the do-it-yourself. Um, the do-it-yourself one-of-a-kind thing better. You know me. Yes, the calamari method. Michelle has all her scraps color coordinated in Ziplocs. Good for you. I don't operate like that, Michelle. I, I, I just can't. That's just how, I just don't roll that way. It's not that I don't want to. It's just, I have more than a Ziploc full of everything. So if you want to make a paper clip, if you want to make my paper clip embellishments, you can freehand cut them. You don't have to punch them out or anything, but I'm going to make some out of some serendipity paper, and then I'm going to make some out of, I don't know, whatever I have in my scraps. Whatever I have. And then I might make some tissue paper ones, but, but that means I'd have to get up and get the tissue paper, so. Okay, look, here's a one-of-a-kind one, one-of-a-kind serendipity paper from a long time ago. Can you guys see it? Carly, you are organized. I've seen your studio. Your studio is amazing. Susan, I used to live on the lower, well, in like 23rd Street and the East River. I have shoe boxes and I have envelopes and I have clear ones and I have, I have all kinds of stuff. So this was a serendipity paper from a million years ago and then I have words in shoe boxes. I, I mean, your studio is very organized, Carlo. Mine was is not now. Well, it will be after they finish doing the electric, and I can move my bookshelves back in here, and then all my stuff can return. I was just purging because I was finding myself that I had collected so many things that I wasn't using. Am I the only one that does that? Am I the only one that collects stuff that they're not using? So here's some scrapbooking paper, and then here's some security envelopes, and more scrapbooking paper. I have just all kinds of bits and pieces. So I'm going to find myself, I just need a piece of cardboard, a piece of cereal box, and then I'll, I'll start. So I cut my base out of cereal box, I and I and I do like to use punches for that, but you don't have to. Um, I don't even know if a punch is going to work on this one, but let me find, let me find a cereal box. So I like to have a base on mine, and I often make them circles, I, um, but this one is, uh, I think I'm going to make this one, is a scallop. And I don't even know if it's going to cut this cornflakes box, but we'll see. Remember last week we were talking about our punches, and about how, and Susan told me I needed to oil mine. Wasn't it you, Susan, that told me I needed to oil my punches? You know, I have so much stuff that I've collected, you guys. I probably should just stop myself at some point, but I haven't. All right, this one is not going to... Oh, please work. I think this cereal box is thicker than, than my normal pasta boxes that I use. I usually use these thin pasta boxes. Carla, your studio is so organized. It looks amazing. Okay? I I can't even, like... Yours is really... I, I saw the picture that you showed all of us when you moved into your new studio, and it looks amazing. It looks... Amazing. I love it. Alright, get your magazines, you guys. I'm just trying to find my big punch, the punch that I use all the time, and I had it yesterday, but of course, I can't keep anything where I put it. I need to know my, I need to, I need to, like, give it up. to give it up. I need to give up my ridiculousness. So 
I guess I'll just freehand cut it because I can't find the... I let my sweetie help me yesterday and I moved all my stuff and... Anyway, we were, he was trying to help me undo some bookshelves and... That's my life, friends. My life. My life. Okay, so the first thing is you want to decide on your shape. Now, if you're going to cut it out of your serendipity paper, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to cut it out of a magazine page, pick the magazine image that you want. Like, I often do boots and shoes. I do kind of whimsical things, too. Like, let me see if I can find something in here that I would make a magazine page embellishment out of. I'm the queen of having the, the otter, the magazine, the better, you know? And I also use magazine pages for, um, I also use like backgrounds for the backgrounds of my embellishments. Do you guys ever do that? Like maybe I would use all these red words, right? Maybe I'd use that for my embellishment and then put something on top of it. I've also cut out these. Have you ever just cut out watches and paper images? You're hearing bamboo wind times in stereo. <laughs> You're hearing yours and you have them too. I love my bamboo wind. I have wind times all over my yard. I'm, the ones in the back are very loud, but yeah, they're, they're right here. I have them in front of my house. We're probably the only people that have bamboo wind times, right? The rest of you don't. They're this pretty common here. So pick out an image. Pick out any image that you guys want to pick out. Let me just find one. I have nothing's come up yet. There's a matador. I like fashion images. I like boots and shoes and this is an old magazine from 1990. No wonder. I was like, wow, these are some crazy. These actors look young. So you guys know I have a friend and she's like moving. Well, she brings me all these things. I think these magazines came from her house. I might even use these as embellishments. These are a little bit small, but um, but sunglasses work good too for paper clip embellishments. I like um, shoes and clocks and um, anything really. Um, shoes and clocks and purses and the odder the image, the better. I haven't found one in here. I guess in the 1990s they didn't have. You guys know what's so funny is like, I don't even think I bought these magazines in the 90s, so the fact that she's had them. Yes, because everything else does rest. You're absolutely right. Try to explain, Valerie, you explain to everyone. I was trying to explain to them why we don't keep things here. You know what, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to use this. Let me see. Why don't, we don't keep things because the weather takes it all. The weather absolutely takes it all, okay? It, the weather, and if it's not the weather, it's, this one doesn't have anything in it. I was, I told you guys I was cleaning up my stuff, so. All right, let me see. Oh, guys. All right, let's just make it out of our serendipity paper first, and then I will find you some magazine images, and we'll make it out of that. I can't use this punch. I need to get my aluminum foil right, Susan, so that I can cut it out with a with an aluminum cut out my stuff with an aluminum with aluminum foil because it'll. Let's see if I have an image in here. See, I make envelopes out of everything. You guys, am I am I like too much? Like I make envelopes out of everything, and um, and I save all these bits and pieces. All right, here's something. Okay, this is something I would make embellishment out of. Okay, see it's a magazine page, and do you see the pattern on it? And I don't know what it was from. It's probably just some sort of like, see, like this. And I would, no, throw it on the floor. What are you telling me to throw on the floor? I have a bucket next to me with my stuff. You guys are so funny. What am I throwing on the floor? Are you making fun of me? Oh, throw your punch on the floor. Yeah, but that was for her EK success punch. Okay, so this is what I would do, you guys. So if you're going to make a paper clip embellishment out of these patterns, and I like stuff like this. It might be a little too weird for you, but this is, this is how I function. This is my feng shui here. 
So I would punch it out. I would punch it out, and then I would punch out a piece of paper similar size. And it, I like to use book pages, so I have every kind of book page, and the quality of the book pages, you know me, I go for the, the quality of the book page, too. It has to be a decent quality of the book page. So punch out, we, we can make a couple, you know, we can make several if you want. But this is how I work. And then and then what's cool about it is if you, uh, Susan, you're so funny, you uh, throw it on the floor. So because I can't, you can do, you, if, you, if you have packaging, it works good too, but obviously this punch isn't going to work on packaging. So I need to punch, I'm punching out a few. I'm going to, I'm going to make my own packaging, and I'll show you. So, here we go. This one's going to be a three paper puncher. And I also, maybe I'll do it with the water, too. The water, isn't the, the drops of the water is kind of cool, too. So, I save all this weird stuff. Am I the only one? Can somebody pipe in and tell me that I'm not the only one that saves all this very weird stuff? I'm going to make some... So I save all kinds of patterns, and I save all kinds of water stuff, and I save all kinds of any any sort of interesting thing like that, I save. Alright, so, and you can do it on, with your serendipity paper too. Okay, and I'll do a piece of my serendipity paper, although none of this has really been, let me see. Has this been, been stamped and painted on? After I make this paper, I usually go back and stamp and paint on it. But it's okay. I'll just use it anyway. It'll come out good no matter what. Um, just find the part of the page that you like. I may not be able to use this punch for that either. You're right, Susan. I may have to throw it on the floor. You're absolutely right. I can't believe this won't even cut out that. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous! Alright, this punch is not, this punch has seen better days. Alright, we'll just use those. And then I'm going to cut out some of my regular paper, um, because I can't, this this particular punch won't cut out. Don't tell me it's not even going to cut out that book page now. Ah, I don't even think I have a piece of aluminum foil, so I can't even, like, I can't even go and, uh, I can't even go and sharpen it. Isn't that how you told me to sharpen it, Susan, was with aluminum foil? Save too many things. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I, I need to like let go of saving some of the stuff. All right, so you guys, you're gonna just have to bear with me. I don't have a piece of aluminum foil. What else can I use to sharpen my punch with you guys? So I am going to take my paper. I'm going to use, I'm going to use this paper, I'm going to use, these are going to be the tops of the punches, okay, and I don't need all of them, but there'll be some cool ones, right? And then I'm going to use the paper to back, I'm going to back it on the paper, okay, I'm going to glue, I'm going to glue it all to one piece of paper, and I'm going to do it with a glue stick, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it with a glue stick, so... Glue your magazine, you need to glue your magazines to something, and you need to cut it out in the same shape, whether you use a punch or whether you use a, um, whether you use something else. Alright, glue your magazine pages to, to something more sturdy, if you want to make embellishments out of them. Most of the time I glue it on to, um, pasta boxes or thinner or thinner, um, card, lightweight cardboard. Pasta boxes, cereal boxes, um, Pop-Tart boxes. You get the general idea. I have to sharpen my punch with a metal file. Well, I don't, I'm not going to go do that today. I, I'm going to, I, I will go get some aluminum foil. Susan, it wasn't you that told me I needed aluminum foil to do my punches. 
And I'll definitely do a flint mount foil. So normally I would cut multiples for the back as well, but on this one, um, I'm only going to cut, on this one you only get this and then the back will just have to be round and I'll show you what I mean and I'll freehand cut that. What do you guys, <laughs> what is that face for, Bet? I've cut through soda cans with my punches. I mean, not the, not all these punches, but I've cut through my soda cans with some. Um, I think for me, that's set, cutting with a die cutting machine is better. Soda cans. You know, those Biggs dies work the best, I think. And if you're not going to use a Biggs die, then I would say use a... Um, If you're not going to use a big die, use a the sizzlid die. I haven't tried to cut them out with just metal dies. So who's having a birthday? Is anybody having a birthday right now? Last week we had somebody. So whose birthday is it? One of you guys' birthday today? Speak up now or forever hold your peace, whoever's birthday it is. Speak up. <coughs> I just don't have any aluminum foil. What do you need, a pink bridesmaid dress or a quinceanera dress for what? It's Carla's half birthday in four days. Well, happy half birthday, Carla. Happy half birthday. Any of you guys planning a, <coughs> a last minute vacation before school starts? School starts here in a week. Can you guys believe that? School starts here in one week. That is so ridiculous. We were just all shocked. I was like, school already starting? It's ridiculous. One week. One week. One week. And we aren't ready. Maybe a week and a half. We are not ready. At least my daughter's not ready. She, she was telling me today, she was like, I'm not ready. I said, honey, I understand. I just remember being... Don't you guys remember being like 10 and just in loving your summer with your friends? It felt like the summer was like the best part of the whole year and hanging out and playing with your friends. So all the magazine pages that I have right now, the five pieces that I've cut out, all have a book page on the back. The ones that don't, I won't, I won't make because you do need a thicker page and I'm not going to try and fussy cut this scalloped oval. All right, so you need to get your paper clips. Let me find mine and my mess here. Hopefully I have some small ones. I know I have some big ones, but hopefully I have some small ones too. You do need a craft knife for this. You, do not, you need a craft knife. Definitely need a craft knife. A box cutter, a mat knife, whatever you want to call it, you need that. Now I can do I'll do, I'm just going to do, maybe I'll do one big one. I could do one big one and, oh, there's four of them. I'll do one big one on each one of the amount of small ones. Okay, so now you want to cut your cereal box or your, generally you take your punch and you'd make three. You'd do two book pages or three book pages and then your cereal box. But that didn't work out. The cereal box, the the um, punch wouldn't cut it. So I'm going to use. So I'm just going to cut some circles, freehand cut some circles, and they don't have to be perfect, you guys. They're just going to go on the back of my paper clips, or you could cut rectangles. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to see them because they're going to be behind your paper clip. Okay. Valerie says, our poor kids, they have to spend August and September, the hottest months in, in the school. You're right, they do. 
They should change the summer break. I agree. I don't know why they don't do it. And our schools aren't air conditioned here, you guys. We don't have the same things you guys do. Now, if you want to have a hidden paper clip, the key to it is you want to put your notch at the top. So you do need a piece of, you're gonna, whatever you're gonna cut for your backing. Normally I would cut exactly this shape, but my cut, my, my punch won't work on it, it won't cut through it. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this rectangle. And the only reason why you're doing this is for stability, but also to hide your paper clip because you're going to notch your paper clip through this. <laughs> you know, it is paradise here, but you know, we have, a, our, our schools are kind of year round. We, the kids don't get very long summers, you know, they get like two month summers where most other schools, kids get a longer summer, right? So, I mean, I guess it doesn't really affect you if you're not in school, but if you're in school, it does. And if you're like a 10 year old and, and she doesn't know any different, she's only gone to school here. So she doesn't know any different. Okay. So you want to notch, you want to see, can you guys see the back of it? Here's my embellishment or what I'm going to use is my embellishment. And this is my piece that I'm going to, and then the paper clip is going to, I'm going to notch it at the top. So you want to notch it not too close to the top, not too all the way up to the top, but far enough up. And I have a self-healing mat underneath this. You don't want to just cut it directly on your table. You want to cut it, uh, you want to have something underneath your, underneath what you're cutting. And mine has a self-healing mat on it, so it's okay. Just watch your fingers. Don't get your fingers in there, you know, if you can help it. Usually I have a smaller craft knife, but not today. They don't really get longer winter breaks. Valerie, what are our winter breaks? I don't know. Not really. We get off like two weeks around Christmas time or 10 days, right? 10 days or two weeks. And what is our, what is our spring break? Our spring break is like the same thing. No, they don't get longer winter breaks. You know what it is? Our kids go to school from like... Our kids go to school from, they have shorter school days because, probably because of the heat, right, Susan? And I don't know. Why do our kids have shorter, I don't know. You know, I haven't always lived here. I lived on the east coast of the United States in New York where we had longer winter, we had longer, um, we had longer breaks and stuff like that than we do now. Oh, they do have a fall break. I forgot about that. But isn't the fall break? I don't know. They have a, they have a week, they get a week in October. I don't know. You guys, it's weird. You know, our school days aren't as long. Okay. I like to stick the, the smaller, the larger, the smaller part of the clip inside the groove. This one didn't cut so well, but I'll show it to you. You'll get it. You'll understand. Okay, do you see the smaller parts inside? And that's the part I'm going to glue. And then I'm going to take it to my image and I'm going to glue it on. And you definitely need to use a wet glue. I think a wet glue works better. If you have like a, any kind of glue, Mod Podge, designer tacky glue, um, whatever glue you want. I'm going to pour some out on my, on my glue palette. Our kids go to school. My daughter, they go to school from like 7.45 in the morning, well, 7.30. We have to be at school by 7.30 and they get out at 2. So is that the same time you guys go? Don't your kids go from like 8 to 3.30 or something like that? Yeah, Amberly's saying 8 to 3.30. And then on Wednesdays, they only go to school till 1 o'clock. So, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. It's just what it is here, you know? 
So you just go with it. You know, it's like every place has its own thing, right? So that's what they have here. So you don't even think about it. You just go with it. You don't think about it at all. You just go with it. So I'm just going to paint my... Paint the inside. You definitely want to put um, a thick enough layer of glue. Not too thick, but a thick enough layer of glue around your paper clip. So, I'm trying to think of what I went through this week. This week was a weird, blurry week for me. You know how so? Do you guys ever have that? Like some weeks are just. Some weeks just go by so fast, and last week was a, a crazy blurry week, and the weekend, I'm trying to remember what we even did. This is the only, you know what, because I cleaned off my desk and I put my other craft knife, I have like six or eight mat knives. Do you guys have that many mat knives? And they have all different sizes, and this is just the only one I had by because I was cutting up open boxes. I don't know where the other small one is. Now the reason I like to put more behind it than I would than this one really has on it, and maybe I should have glued it to something else, just so that you don't see any um, any paper clip. In fact, you know what? I may do that for this. This is like well, I'll leave this one alone, but the next one I will. So that's how you do a hidden paper clip. What's cool about it is, let me show you. Let me find a page. Okay, so the difference between the hidden paper clip is. You know, you can you can clip your your paper. See how it goes all the way down on your page? Now nah, you wouldn't cut your white school glue works too perfect. It's a Rambo knife. Well, I usually have that little bitty tiny one, but I cleaned off my desk, you guys, and I put all that stuff is in the garage now. So. The other thing you might want to consider is I would do two layers. I'm going to do two layers. This one was too thin. I'm going to do two layers. I'm used to making two layers of chipboard. So for my next one, I'm going to do two layers of chipboard. So I'll show you how to do that. Let me see. Are you making fun of me, Susan? You be my, don't be making fun of me. You making fun of me? You making fun of me? You making fun of me? Don't be making fun of me. Use all your recycled boxes, though. They, they work really good. But do you see how you can get, like, cool one-of-a-kind embellishments from, like, your magazine pages? And, like, nobody else is going to have one like that. Nobody else is going to have that paperclip coolness that you do. You are going to be the only one. I'm going to use this onion soup box. It was a Rambo knife. You guys need to get over it. Let go of my Rambo knife. Let go of my Rambo knife. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are we really are we really gonna talk about my Rambo knife? I don't know where. You guys are ridiculous. So cut yourself two pieces. Generally, I make myself blanks. If my if my if my punch was working, I would make myself some blanks. Let me see if I can do it freehand for you. You guys are so ridiculous. You're still obsessed over my Rambo knife. So funny. My Rambo knife. What are we talking about? We're worried about many strangers in traffic? What are you talking about? No, it just... No, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think it's our school budget. I just think we have no money here. To, we don't have the same sort of funds. Even though everybody in the world comes to Hawaii, we have the, the, the smallest budget for education here. It's ridiculous. I, I don't think it has anything to do with traffic and strangers. Not At least not on my island. I don't know about your island, Valerie. Is it, is it have any worry, worries about traffic and strangers on your island, Valerie? So for blanks, what I would do is, a lot of times what I'll do is if I'm going to make a blank of something, 
I will um, just make a bunch of, like I'll take it to my die cutting machine or just make several blanks of, of this cardboard, glue it to the, um, glue it to the paper clip and that's what I have. I think I've sent some of you guys some of the blanks that I make. What are you guys writing? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm missing what you guys are saying. Let's see. Repeat it one more time. Oh, Amberly was saying about the day for the eclipse. Oh, I didn't even, I'm sorry. Well, no, Kiara, the, the budget is just, the cost of living is really high here. It just is. It's really expensive to live here. And, you know, we don't, our state income tax, we don't really have, taxes are not super high here. I don't know, honestly. Probably, I don't know why our, Valerie, you want to pipe in? You probably know better than me. Do you know more than me about why our, why our school budgets are so small? We used to not go to school on Fridays, you guys, because they couldn't afford to pay the teachers. They called it furlough Fridays, and it was every, I can't remember if it was every other week. The cost of living is really high here, Cass, so, and there's a shortage of places to live. See, look, people like to come here on vacation, but they don't realize that, that people have to live here, too, so... You know, they'll pay a lot of money for a house or they drive the prices up and they come for two weeks a year. Like they buy a property and drive the prices up. But then you can't live here as a regular person. And you need regular people to support the other people coming, right? You can't just do it you can't just do it on your own. I mean you need you need people to serve you when you go to a restaurant and you need people to serve you when you pump gas or rent a car and I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs of the economics of Hawaii. I probably should because I live here, but I don't. Okay. I'm making, I'm going to make this one. I'm going to make a double blank on this one. No, it's not Crocodile Dundee. We don't really have any poisonous anything. You're expecting how many people? You're expecting 150,000 visitors to where you live, Amberly, because of the um, because of the eclipse, or just in general? I mean, what's in Clarksville? All right, I'm using my Rambo knife. I'm just notching one side at the top. Is that why they are expecting it, Amberly, or are they expecting it for another reason? So much saying. You know, the cost of living originally was was so expensive here because everything has to be shipped here. But now with the way things run, like with so many things, so many more things available to be, sh you know, to, to get, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know why the, the cost of living is just, it just is. That's just how it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just making a blank. I'm just going to glue the two pieces together like this, the two, the two, um, pieces of cardboard together, and then I'm, and the paper clip in between, and then I'll glue the other cardboard to the, the image. So if you wanted to, you could sit down and make a whole bunch of blanks ahead of time, and then you could then hunt for your images or whatever and then glue them on later. I do that too. Oh, because of the eclipse? That's why they're doing it? Well, that'll be... I don't even know. I don't think we'll see the eclipse here. I don't think it's going to pass. I don't... I think we looked. I don't think it's going to come. I don't think we'll see it. But I think it's super cool for you guys.
because the eclipse, you have one of the longest times for the eclipse to totally block the sun, Amberly. Oh, that's cool. Well, are you going to capitalize on it and make some t-shirts and say, and sell t-shirts and whatever to capitalize on the, the huge population of people coming? Usually I have a funny story for you guys. I don't know if I have one this week. I'm just trying to think. My life is like a comical event, so sometimes what I don't necessarily find funny. Oh, you love the paperclip idea? I wish I could... When I clean my crap, when I get myself unpacked again from the whole electrical debacle thing, I will um, show you guys the ones I make. The weirder the image, the better for me. I have fine... And I cut them out all year long. Like, very odd things. I love it. It's like why I'm more of a trashy journal person, I think. Okay, now I'm going to glue this onto my blank. Do you see? I'm going to go ahead and glue that onto my blank. So if you made a bunch of these blanks and then you glued, glued the images onto them, it works great. And then you let them dry and then you put... Um, let them dry and then you put that diamond glaze over it. I have a whippet. That's, I only have one dog. The dogs that you're hearing barking are not my dogs. That's my neighbor's dogs. And I don't know what. They have little tiny dogs. They have like um, a chihuahua I think. They have two chihuahuas that bark at everything. So the kids are outside playing. If you can hear them running around laughing and giggling. They're running around the neighborhood riding on their bikes. And the dogs, my neighbor across the street, the dogs are recent. They're, they've only been here about a, maybe a year. You can hear the dogs barking across the street there. They ch the, anytime the kids, and they're fenced in, so the kids are always playing outside. Yeah, that definitely works better. So then there you go. And then I'll put diamond glaze on it. When it totally dries, I'll put diamond glaze on it. And it'll look like a really cool paperclip embellishment. And it came from your magazine scrap bits. What do you guys think? Is that cool? What about, what are we talking about calamari? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, you guys. It wasn't Charlie. Charlie does. I mean, Charlie barks a little, but she she doesn't even. I'm I'm grateful that she doesn't get going with those other dogs though, because those other dogs, they can really get going, and it can be a little much sometimes, you know. So anyway, you can use your your kind of cool scrapbooking paper bits like that and make. I mean, your magazine pages. I don't know what it came from, but I liked it, right? Oh no, what are we, or what are you, oh no, there we go again. What are we talking about now? Are we talking about the, the, the Japanese organizational system? Oh my god, you guys, we can never, between that and my, what did you guys call this? My Rambo knife? My ram between my Rambo knife and the Japanese, and the Japanese method of, oh my god, so funny. So there's this lady, this Japanese method. Her name is, is it Mar Marie? What's her name? Marie something. Marie Khan something. So she goes, it goes by Khan Mari. And I thought, I was telling you guys how I was failing at it. Because the very first thing you have to do in the Khan Mari method is, you can, you have to, the very first thing you do is you, is you clean out your, personal closet. That was no big deal for me. I could throw out, give away my clothes, do that. Not a big deal. You have to look at something and you go, does it spark joy? And if it doesn't spark joy, you let it go. Okay, the very second part of the whole method is books. Well, you guys know I suck at that. I mean, my books are everything. I love, I cut them up. I mean, you know, yes, I have some that I read, but for the most part, most of the books that I have in my house, I alter. They're like for altering books. So I was saying that I sucked at that, that I, I was saying, I was talking about it one time and Susan piped in and said, what is calamari? 
Then we all were like squid, and we were just talking about she meant she thought we were talking for like hours about calamari. So she said that's why we call it the calamari method now. The calamari method. So who has put on your crafty wish list? I am going to. I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do a book on making my craft. I'm gonna have my crafty. It's like your bucket list, but it's my crafty bucket list. Is anybody in in line in game game with me to 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 make a crafty bucket list? What I thought we could do in our Facebook group, if you guys want to go over and join, please do. It's called Crafting Mamas. And our fate and our maybe what we can do is we can all like write what's on our crafty bucket list. Danina, you and I must be soul sisters because I can't do it. I can't do it either. Okay, so we can definitely make a meander book. And you know who makes amazing meander books? And I was trying to convince her into making another one live stream is our lovely Carla. So if you're here, Miss Carla Caged Fish, and you want to make another meander book, if you guys go over and look at hers, they're awesome. But I certainly want one. I've made them in the past, but I would. Is this better than my Rambo knife? I'll put my Rambo knife up, okay? I found another one. You can know me and my. My rainbow knife was just close by. Okay, this is not a rainbow knife, so you guys don't have to get worried about it. Um, I would like to... I've got a whole bunch of stuff on my crafty bucket list. So what I thought maybe we would do is if you want to go over and join, we'll start adding to what's on our crafty bucket list and maybe start tackling some of that stuff together. Oh, good. Well, if you make a a meander book, Carla, we'll come over and make it with you because I think that we would all, everybody would really, really love doing it. I would love to make one again. I made, I made one, I don't know if it was this Christmas or the last past Christmas for one of my kids and I put pictures of her in it when she was a baby. So maybe it was last Christmas, not this past one, the one before. So I made a meander book and so every page you turned was a picture of her as a baby. Okay, this is just my blank, you guys. This is not my embellishment. What's cool about this, if you make these blanks, I usually make them with a punch so that they're cut better, but this one's going to go for this. What's cool is if you make a bunch of these blanks, then when you find really cool embellishments, it would be fun. Yeah, definitely. A meander book is like one of those infinity books, you know, like you open it and you don't know which way it opens and every single way you open it, it, it does something different or you see something different. Carla made some beautiful ones. If you go over and watch her channel, Caged Fish, here on YouTube, go and check Carla did you call it a meander book or what did you call it in your in the titles of your videos I found another knife okay here's my other knife you guys I have like 10 of these knives you guys are making fun of me again it's all good it's all good go on make fun of me go on make fun of me so anyway, I'm going to do, we're going to put, a, we're going to make our crafty, our crafty bucket list and I'm going to post it in our Facebook group. So if anybody wants to join, you can join in, add, add what you want to do and then I will do that process in one of our live streams. Okay. So anything that is craft, paper craft related, I'm, it has to be something that I know how to do. I, I mean, I'm willing to try new things, but. Okay, so Carla says she does have a video in her Uncaged Fish on YouTube, and it's called Meander Books. And so, if you guys want to go over and, and take a look at it, have a look at it. Now, you can also watch her every Tuesday live on Ustream, or the recording is after on, the recording comes later, after on, um,
The recording comes live. I mean, the recording is afterwards on YouTube. So I have one more to make. And then we can pick out some other images. And then I'm going to make some out of my... I think I'm going to make them out of my... Hi, Mary Kay. Yes, go... Hi, Epec. Go and definitely look at her videos. You guys will learn a lot. And she's like me. We chat and craft. So she does them live. So if you're not a chat... If you're not a chat crafter, then obviously all you ladies are because you're here with me, but I'm just saying it out loud. Yes, I got this lady sent me an email, you guys. This is how crazy people are on YouTube, okay? Just going to vent for a second if you don't mind. This lady wrote me an email and she said, I just want you to know your videos are long. Okay, I have other videos that are not long. I just wrote her back and said, well, it's called live stream. I said, it's a live stream, you know? I was trying to explain to her that... It's a craft and chat, you know? So my thing is, if you don't like it, then don't watch it. Like, you know? So I'm going to just clip my clips on here right now. The only thing is, if you use this diamond glaze, you have to leave your stuff... Um, you have to let it... If you're going to use it on a flat surface, you have to let them sit flat. Because it pools. You know what I mean? The, the stuff pools. But isn't it cool? You can get a lot with your hidden paper clips this way. I mean, this is a very large paper clip, but instead of it sticking straight up, you know, this one you can't really do a hidden paper clip because you can only hide as much as, as you're going to be able to see on the... I need to do that one, but I was going to look and see if I could find a flower, some flower images in here. Some flower images to make some hidden paper clips with. So you guys, all of your yard sales that are coming up for the summer, go. You guys don't miss your yard sales. Go to your yard sales. Get to your yard sales so that you can have some, I mean, you get some cool stuff. You know? I think I want some red, so I'm going to take this page. Get your cheap, inexpensive books at a yard sale and go for it. You know, you need to, like, do your inexpensive yard sale books, your freebie giveaway, throwaway books. Diana says the world's largest yard sale is coming up soon. I think some of you guys said you might be going to it. Am I wrong? Let me see if I can get another one of my punches to work. If I can get one of my punches to work, I'll be happy. Um... I don't know. These pinches are old and everything rusts here. Oh, hi, Edna. Thanks for saying hey. I was on Carla's stream, not this past time, but the one before, and it took me forever to get on to even, to even be able to chat. I don't know what was going on with that. So... Now you guys get an idea of, like, you can make a paperclip embellishment out of anything. So I don't want to hear from any one of you girls that you don't have an image, you don't have anything to put in your journal. You can make it out of, out of anything. So now you see me doing it. There's no reason that you can't be doing it too, right? Make it out of anything. Any, any, anything. Any, any, any image, book page, book page, or you could freehand cut that, but I was just gonna, since I'm making paper clip embellishments, I just thought I would go for it and just use my punch, use any of the punches I have. But you can make it out of anything, so I don't know if my punch is going to cut this. But let's just, let's just try it. Shall we just try it? For fun. Maybe this one will work and cut through everything. I don't think it's going to work either. Well, it did. Woohoo! So 
So for those of you that are just watching us, head over over to our Facebook. This is not working, guys. What I need you need to run. <laughs> Bye, Carla. You guys head over and watch her channel. You guys will totally love it. You're not going to be disappointed. She definitely does some really amazing streams. Fun stuff. Fun stuff to learn. Always teaching you new stuff. I'm going to step away and do it over here because it's making such a loud noise. And I'm going to see if I can do it on this table instead of my rickety one. Instead of my ricky ticky tobby one. I haven't found anywhere, ladies. I'm just cutting on my thing. I wouldn't shake my table. Okay. So just the same method, you guys. Decide what you want to be the front. Decide what you want to. You want it. You're going to glue it onto two pieces. Just get to glowing. I would glue the, the magazine page with a glue stick and then the other part with a wet glue. I didn't go to the garage, you guys. I just walked. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. I just walked away from the table because I was shaking the table, which was shaking my computer, which was shaking the camera. You're so funny. I did not go to the garage. I just walked away for a second because that punch was so difficult. It was uh, just going to burnish my image down, make sure there's no. You guys are so funny. I did not go to the garage. I did not go to the garage. You guys are ridiculous. I did not go to the garage. So funny. Yes, I just had to get up to go to the garage, and then I'll be back. No, I didn't go to the garage. Those are so funny. Now this part you're going to have to use wet glue on. But it works every time. But do you see, like, now did your did your world of paperclip embellishments just open up for all of you? Did all of you who who want to make paperclip embellishments or have magazines or have catalog pages or have things that you go, well, that's not exactly as beautiful as I want or whatever. Did it open up for you a little bit, I hope? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what are you guys laughing about? I'm missing the whole chat. I'm missing the chat because I was in the garage with my Rambo knife. I hope you guys are garage selling. Please do garage sale for me because I don't, you know, I can vicariously garage sell through you all. I can vicariously garage sale through all of you. I would love that to vicariously garage sell for you all. Oh, Valerie, I don't think you're missing anything. I'm just punching out punches. I'm just making paperclip embellishments out of magazines. That's all. Out of book pages. That's all. It's not that exciting. 
You're so funny. Yes, I hope you guys garage sell for me. I mean, it would make me happy if you garage sold for me. You know, it's like... Especially if you're going to cut up books or magazines. But for all of you that get those magazines, those... Um, what do you call it? Floral magazines? The growing magazines? This is a great way to... Uh, to use them. If you get those... If you get those gardening magazines, this is awesome. This is a great way. What did I miss? Are you going to take me Saturday with Facebook Live? Okay, I would love that. Are you going to garage sale and take me along vicariously? I'd go for it. I'd love that. I'd watch you. Cheer you on. Tell you what to buy. Awesome! Cassandra's going to make some hot dog clips. I think that's great. Okay. I think it's awesome. I've made high heels. Somewhere around here I have a turkey with high heels on it. I'll find that one. I saw it not too long ago on my stuff. I just don't have it nearby. When I was making the package for somebody. Yeah, you can use... Oh, the notch part is nothing, Valerie. Okay, so the notch part is... This one didn't cut out totally around. Okay, but I'll show you. The notch part is this. Depending upon... Okay, if you want the image to go this way, you're going to have to notch... If you want the image to go this way, you're going to have to notch behind up there. But if you want the image to go, if you want to have the paper clip hidden so it's falling, so it comes down further on your page than sitting up higher over your page, all you need to do is, first of all, you have to know what size paper clip you're going to use. And this is a big, large one. So you want to go to the top of your packaging. You see this part didn't cut out with the, with the punch, but it doesn't matter. And you're going to notch it up high on one side. Okay, so you want to notch it and use your Rambo knife if you have one, or if not, that's my non-Rambo knife. Now what I do is I stick the smaller part of the paper clip on the inside, okay? And then I'm going to glue it on to the back of my embellishment just like that. So then the embellishment will sit... I have to move the paper clip over a little bit because it's not, I want it to be more even in the middle of the, of the page. It's really nothing, Valerie, it's just, instead of having your paper clips sit up high. What did you say, post them for extra credit? You're so bad, Susan. You are hilarious. Gosh, your fingers are not are not listen listening to your brain. <laughs> Carrie's saying that she and her best friend love an old bookstore in their town, and they put out books for free, and we always grab a few. That's awesome. You know, free books are always the best to cut up, right? Because they were going to end up in the trash. So I love that too, Carrie. Good for you. That's awesome. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. I think that's great. You guys are so funny. Tomorrow start your new journey season. Good for you. You guys are welcome to come and help me clean out my garage so that I can start my journey. And thank you, ladies, for all of you that are sending each other happy mail in our group. That makes me so, so, so happy. What kind of music do you guys craft to? Do you craft to music, or do you craft to television, or do you craft to... What do you guys craft to? What do you have? Depends upon me. I like to watch movies, but unfortunately, I, it can't be one where you really have to pay a lot of attention to. Do you know what I mean? Valerie, it's kind of fun to make these, and these are really fun to stick in your Happy Mail, and they're really fun to stick in your Christmas cards and stuff like that, too. Like, sometimes I just send, if I have a friend that I know that reads a lot or whatever, I just make these, like, as bookmarks, and I send them. 
I send them as bookmarks. I send them as, um, you know, that sort of thing. You craft a YouTube, Valerie? You come, <laughs> you coming over, Ann? Oh my God. If you guys saw my mess in the garage. So before this whole ridiculous reorganization thing started, because... You know, I told you guys that my daughters have like, both of my older daughters are organizational freaks and my oldest daughter, she is not, I mean, they're both, they're creative, but they're very organized. So they don't like my chaos. Like they don't like the way my stuff is organized. Like they don't like boxes with just random stuff in it. They like it all color coordinated and what have you and whatnot. So when my oldest daughter was here, she decided she was going to help me. And I welcomed it. You know what? You can make them out of anything. Isn't that funny? You can make them out of anything. They do, and, and your clips are going to be one of a kind compared to everybody else's. So when she was here, she was here for a while. You guys know she was she was here for, I don't know, nine months, a year maybe? I don't know. It's been kind of as a blur. So she decided she was going to organize me. But what... What they don't understand is everybody's brain works differently, right? So her organizing me is not the same as what's going to work for me. Do you know, does anybody, do you know what I mean, you guys? I mean, it's, it's great intention and everything. I'm not saying that it's not a good intention to want to, like, work with somebody or help them or want them to be organized, but it has to work for the person that you're organizing. So... I was trying to explain that to my daughter, but she didn't quite get it. But anyway, so she helped me organize, which I was grateful that she tried to help me organize. But when I was away in Bogota, she really did, and then I couldn't find anything. Projects that I was working on, like she would see a pile of scraps and, and think that it was just stuff to, like, I don't know, probably throw away. So I couldn't find anything. So then I decided when I got back or after I couldn't find anything, I was going to really organize. So I started full-fledged. I had boxes of stuff that I use every day, and I was reorganizing everything that way. But then I had piles of stuff in my little craft area, on tables and on my shelves and stuff, that were like works in progress. And well, then we had our ridiculous electrical thing, and then they had to like punch a hole in our wall, and then my well, life's gone to hell in a handbasket for the organizational stuff after that. So <laughs> now I can't find anything. What's going fast? My brain works so different than everybody else's and I'm not like I would never go to her house and say you need to have your stuff organized differently but obviously your kids you know especially your kids when they're in their 20s they think you're stupid does anybody else have a kid that thinks they're stupid my kids think I'm stupid you know they they're, they're at that age where they think that that they know what's better for you than what you do do you know, does, it, does, it, does anybody else have that experience except me? Where your kids think that what they know for you is better than what you know for you? Anyway, I'm grateful that she wanted to help me. And you know what, really for me, it was just about spending time with her. But, you know, now when we had the whole electrical thing and then I had to take everything out of my space because they had to rip the walls out. They had to rip the wall out to replace the electric. You know, the electrical wiring. I just, I, I was in the midst of my organization, and it's all in these little clear boxes. Do you guys, you know what I mean? They're like those little tubs. Like they're clear shoe boxes. So I was in the middle of that. I just boxed them up into bigger boxes, and I had to move it all out, like, within a day. So most of it's in the garage and of course I wasn't thinking at the time because it was trying to do it in a hurry that I should label everything so it's like every single time I go to look for something it's like you get the gist of it you can you catch the gist of my frustration right you get the gist <laughs> Joni says her 20 plus boy knows everything oh can I tell you, I have to say, I'm not alone, Cass. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. 
You know what, Dawn? I don't even remind them anymore that I'm the mom. They think they think they know everything, and I just have to let them. What did you say, Valerie? You would have told them to chis another one. I didn't have a choice. It butts up to my kitchen, and so. <laughs> Oh, no, I do. Okay, so my oldest daughter, and I love her, you guys. She throws away everything. She's a minimalist, okay? So she does not understand my junk. So it becomes a bone of contention. So when she told me she wanted me to help me, part, I was like, oh, great. And then the other part of me was like, oh, no. Trust me, she helped my younger daughter clean out her room, and she threw out all my younger daughter's stuff, and my younger daughter was crying. So when I cleaned my so when my younger daughter was away and I cleaned her room, I didn't throw anything out. I told her I put it in boxes and I said we need to go through it. Because you know, it's stressful sometimes, especially if it's stuff you love. Oh my god, you guys. You're right, Cassie would throw your stuff out. Valerie, we live in a really old house, so all the walls had to be, they, we need, uh, the whole thing needs electric, but this one was, I'll show it to you guys, after I finally get it, it should be in the next, I'm told in the next week, but I'm not holding my breath, you know, it takes a really long time, you know that Valerie from living here, nothing gets done in a timely manner, um, my craft space is the dining alcove of our house, so it's, our house is small, my house is small, I'm not saying all Hawaiian homes are small, but mine is, and, our, my craft space butts up to the, to the kitchen. So our stove went out and we needed a whole new electrical line. So. I know, don't move your stuff, right? So are you guys liking these? Now you can do them in any shape. You don't have to be married to this shape that I have. So say you wanted to just, sometimes I just cut them out round. And sometimes I fussy cut. If you don't feel like fussy cutting, this is kind of fun. But can you? do you guys see how your gardening catalogs could become your new embellishments for your journals? Mary Kay, you're selling your rubber stamps this weekend so they don't get tossed in the garbage. Oh, no. Are you, are you having a garage sale? Is that what you're doing? You know there are Facebook groups where you can sell your craft supplies. There are Facebook groups where you can sell your craft supplies or where you get actually a better value than maybe you would at a yard sale. So, but does it give you some ideas now, you guys? The bubble one does look like guys. It was like some water thing. Look, it was this picture, right? It was like, it was from a magazine. It was like drips of water, right? It does look like guys. I, I have a couple more to do, but I haven't done them all. Well, maybe I might do some book page stamping ones. But now you guys get some ideas of like what you can do. These are like so fun and easy and then you'll get you'll get excited once you start putting this dimensional glaze on them and they they start to take on a new look. You'll be really excited about using them. Oh, my significant other calls it crap supplies too, Valerie. They, my kids make fun of me. They go, are you crafting? <laughs> okay, lurkers. I see you lurking out there. I see you lurking. And excellent. Anne says she just ordered some garden and seed magazines. Yes, these will make fabulous embellishments with your garden and seed magazines. They do. They totally, totally, totally do. So the other thing I was going to show you guys that I like to do, and I'm going to make some of these embellishments for my, my shabby chic journal. Then the next journal, I, I'm going to talk to you guys about a couple projects that I'm doing that I haven't showed you. But, you know, I do other stuff besides what I show you guys. Um, is I'm going to, I'm doing my own sort of like, Hawaiian style journal, Hawaiian themed journal, if you guys want to join me in that. But it's going to be a super simple one signature 20, a t one simple signature, you know, 20 pages journal. 
You're working, Michelle. Michelle, I loved your shabby chic wall hanging. It was gorgeous. Loved it. Love, love, loved it. So I'll show you what else I do for these these journaling things. Let me just move my move my little mess going on here. Move my I see this will make a really cool one too, don't you think? I like it. I'm going to cut this up too. Not this minute, but I will. Okay. I'm going to move my glue. And I'm going to sit. So, do any of you guys get those old encyclopedias that, that have like really thin paper? There, You can almost see through it. It's that translucent. These make excellent embellishments too. And you can fussy cut it. You can do anything on it. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do first. So, I'm going to stamp on mine. And let me see, maybe I'll use this green ink. I love this color green. So one of my friends that was moving away gave me a bunch of really cool um, have some more stamps too, it's more stamp ink. Gave me a bunch of really cool old Stampin' Up! stamp pads. And what's really cool about them is they're colors that I don't have or, or, and probably would never have bought, but I really love them. Let me see if I can find, I found some other stamps that I like that I like to use too. But what I was going to show you guys, this is what, this is the other thing that I make embellishments from. Guys, can you guys hear the kids yelling outside? They're having so much fun. So, yes, travel magazines. Yes, I love travel magazines. What are you guys talking I'm missing all the fun. What are you talking about? Postage? What? What? I missed it all. So this little stamp, it's a, what is it? It's a Prima. It's a Prima stamp. It's called, I don't know. You guys, the, the writing is so small, I can't see it. If you guys are that interested, message me and I'll, and I'll try to you what it's called. I can't say it. It's called Clear Stamps. I don't know. It's got like, look, it's got birds, keys, butterflies, and it's got this really cool little other thing on it too. So this is the other thing that I do. I don't have a Zyron. I should get one. I would love to. I, I, I've wanted one. It's been on my wish list for a while, but I don't have one. So I do this in a, with a bunch of different stuff, and I don't know if you guys are into it or not, but this makes really cool embellishments too. So anyway, what I was telling you guys I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a really small 20-page junk journal, one signature, and I'm going to make it in a in an envelope. If you guys want to join me in that endeavor, and we're going to do it with exact things like, you know, four pockets, you know, four pockets, four, four library pockets, two envelopes, whatever. It's going to be, we'll do it exactly the same way with the exact same supply list that we make from, um, either book pages or copy paper or something simple. So that way, because I've gotten so many messages that say, I've never made a junk journal, I wanna make one. But if I take you through doing a 20 page, which is 10 pages folded from beginning to end, then, you know, you guys can do your own. Okay, so what I do is I stamp on this paper. I just go through and I stamp all kinds of different things on, on this um, stamp all over these encyclopedia pages and then I cut them up and I make I make the same sort of embellishments out of them have you guys tried this with this paper it makes like really it makes beautiful beautiful embellishments bye pack 
Maybe we'll see you on Friday. Friday we're going to do making our Christmas cards from junk mail. From book pages and junk mail. Or you can bring your serendipity paper too if you want to make them out of that. Okay? So this is the same process. I just wanted to show you guys what I do. You know, like, when I, you guys, when I first started doing my own, like, paper crafting thing, because I was so used to making everything from scratch and making everything... And also, too, I just couldn't wrap my head around buying a really expensive, um, my bad, I couldn't wrap my head around buying an expensive pad of paper. Am I the only one that felt like that, or, 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 or is, has that sort of feeling that you just didn't want to spend a lot of money on making... You don't want to spend a lot of money on making, um, I don't want to spend 20 or $30 on paper. Plus, you know, the other thing is, if I was going to spend that kind of money on paper, it better be like the most stellar paper pad possible, right? I mean, I love scrapbooking paper, don't get me wrong. I just didn't want to spend that kind of money on it. Encyclopedia pages, yes. Encyclopedia pages. I don't know where the book is or I'd show it to you. Encyclopedia pages. You can do the same thing with phone books. It doesn't have to be that. Alright, so you can do it a couple different ways. You can do it the same way as we did it earlier. You can um, punch it. Or you can fussy cut it. But I'm going to just show you what I do. Just going to cut out a little bit of it and I'll show you. It just makes a cool layering background. You know, I use this stuff for my collage papers too, but... This is sort of fun, especially because we're cutting up old books, right? So this one I'm going to, I'm not going to totally fussy cut it out, but I'm going to cut it out like a little bit more than, I do the same thing. You don't have to fussy cut it, you can uh, punch it. Punching it makes it look good too. This one I'm going to, just a little bit, because that book that I'm making is so, so, in my world, not, um, bright enough. People are often giving their encyclopedias away. So, because you can't really sell them anymore. Now with the internet, you can find all the information that you want, and probably more accurate and more up-to-date, depending upon what year your encyclopedias were made, right? I like the ones that have the thinner, the thinner paper, the better. But you can, any, any of them are good. They're great for junk journals, so don't, like, if you get an opportunity to have some for your junk journals, jump on it, okay? Don't say no. Don't say no. Definitely don't say no. Don't say no. So I'm going to glue mine to a piece of a book page because this is so thin to make a corner embellishment, okay? So, but I might stamp on this one too. Let me figure it out. Maybe I'll spray ink it if I have some spray ink close by. You guys know me and my love for the spray ink. Gotta have that spray ink. What do you guys, what? No fussy cutting for you, Susan? <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. No fussy cutting for Susan. She doesn't want fussy cutting. No fussy cutting in her world. But you get the idea. So what I do is I would just glue it on to something else because this is super thin, right? And then I'm going to glue it on. You could actually, let me see if I can do this one if the color works out good. You guys know my addiction to these spray inks or the Lindy Stamp Gang sprays or whatever they're called. The Starburst sprays. a 
little bit more. Hi, Jamie. How are your tags coming for your soap? Are you are you doing it? Are you doing your tags? Okay, you guys get the idea, right? And then I'm going to glue it on top of another page. But this one, because it's so thin, here I'll show you. And then I'll cut out around it. It's going to be... I could just do it back on the same page, I guess. I don't know. I don't like it yet. I know what I want and I can't make it happen. Maybe it'll happen on this one. I'll just do it on this anyway. Let me just glue it down and then I'll cut it. You're making books? What kind of books are you making? Okay, so this is my thought. I'm going to make that really simple single sin signature junk journal. And that'll be probably a one sitting thing because we'll try to do it I'll try to give you guys all the supplies ahead of time and then we can all do it together. Maybe it'll be a two a two part live stream, maybe just a one part, just depending upon it. Since it's only gonna be twenty pages, which is ten pages folded. Alright, since it's only gonna be twenty pages, ten pages folded. Then you can make one from beginning to end with an envelope and it can be a used envelope it doesn't have to be a, a brand new envelope and then then you'll know for those of you that want it that's never made a junk journal that would like to learn how to make one really quickly and we'll do it with like regular paper we won't even make it I mean we can do it you can do it with junk mail if you want but we could do it with uh, just book pages or that sort of thing. You know, so you're not buying any supplies is my part, is my point. Right, so you don't have to go buy anything. And we'll put, we'll make like four or five little embellishments for it, or maybe we'll, you know, we'll do the, then, then you can have made one totally in its entirety. And once you've done that, you can, you can make anything from that, right? So, okay, so do you guys get my idea? Do you see it? Okay, and now I'm going to just put my paper clip on it. I'm going to get a piece of packaging from, let me see what I have here. Do the same thing with your tissue paper, you guys. That plain white tissue paper that you have, do the same thing with your plain white tissue paper. Okay. Do the same exact thing with your plain white tissue paper. Stamp your images, cut it out, that sort of thing. But this way you're making your own one of a kind, making your own one of a kind embellishments. I'm gonna glue it down to this. Let's see what size do I wanna glue it to? Yeah, I don't use food items for crafting. Do you use food items for crafting? I mean, this is a box. I don't know. What are you guys talking about? You're talking about dyeing things with, with walnuts and stuff like that? I don't use any food item, items here for crafting. You're right. We do have too many bugs. Guys, didn't I ever tell you the story about my spices? And that's why somebody was asking me the other day, why do I have, why did I buy like little tiny boxes of cornbread mix? And I said, because the bugs, I used to buy like cornmeal in a bag and 
whatever, but the bugs would eat through it faster than I could use it, so you can't really... The bugs are your texture, Brenda. Oh my god, you're so hilarious. The bugs are Brenda's texture, you guys. She uses her bugs for extra texture. She uses her bugs for extra texture. So next Tuesday, we'll, we're going to sew our journal together. And I will have decided what I'm going to put on the front. You guys saw my little doily. I think I'm going to put my doily. I would like a vintage image. I may not have one. So I may just have to cut up some flowers from a... I don't know. I have something I have. See it in my head? Maybe I'll just put lace on it. It could just be lace. It doesn't have to have really an image. It's sort of busy as it is, but I thought it might be nice with an image. Okay, so this is one part of my clip paper clip embellishment, and now I'm going to cut the equal side. I'm going to cut the other side the same way. Do you know what I mean? So that I have something on the back. Now, if you're willing to spend the time, can you imagine how cool your embellishments are going to be compared to, like, all the ones that you see bought? You want the back one to be a little bit smaller than the front one, so I may have to trim it down after I've cut around this. You probably want to, you probably want to uh, trace it, but I didn't trace it. I'm just cutting it, holding it, the top one as a template. Bye, Diana. See you now. So maybe I'll see you Friday. Friday, we're going to make our greeting. We're making our, doing our Christmas in July. We're going to make our recycled greeting cards. Maybe some, uh, they won't take very long. Our recycled greeting cards are really fun to make if you haven't made them yet. So I'm glad you joined us, though. Thanks for coming and hanging out. It's always fun to have you around. You're, you're a blast, and I really appreciate your support. Make sure you go over to the Facebook group and join in the um, our crafty bucket list. Because, you know, that'll, that may be what I do to make along with some, some things for your crafty bucket list, okay? So this is going to end up being my paper clip embellishment, you guys. It's going to be like a corner embellishment. Okay, I'm going to put my paper clip there. Do you see? You can make it out of anything. It might be like making chipboard, but the thing is, is you can't cut chipboard with your scissors the way you can cut like packaging. So, you know. All right, I'll go check out Michelle's Pinterest board for my vintage images. I was kind of trying to use everything that I have. Oh, hi, Laura. We do have a Facebook group. Please join us if you feel like it. It's called Crafting Mamas. We'd love to have you. We would totally love to have you. So this one is going to be, you know, I'm going to put my paper clip, I think, I don't know. I could put it over here and I could clip it on my page. I could put it here and I could clip it on my page that direction. That's probably what I'm going to do. I need to color. I need to paint the back of it. I, I didn't do it the right side. I did it green side to green side. Unless I put it on something else. But I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on here anyway. Let's see. How am I going to make my paper clip? Let's see. I'm going to do my paper clip this direction. This direction. With my non... With my non, uh, with my non Rambo knife. I'm going to do it with my non Rambo knife. I want to paint this, so I should do it really quick. What did you say, Bat? Bye, Diana. See you Friday. It'd be awesome to see you Friday with your with your junk mail. I'm just painting the back of this because I didn't do it with. Not that it matters. Because if one of you guys get it, you're gonna like it anyway. Because I made it out of trash, right? <laughs> That's what one of you guys told me last week, and I appreciated it. I totally appreciated it. 
Really? Moths bite? I had no idea. They've, I've never been bitten by one. Really? I didn't know they bite. I don't think the moths here bite. Michelle, I gotta go to your Pinterest board and find my vintage image from my journal cover. I loved your shabby chic wall hanging the heart one. I loved it. That was awesome. Thought it was awesome. Awesome sauce. Sorry, I gotta draw my my paint. You didn't miss anything, Jamie. We're just making paper clip embellishments. We were gonna sell our journal together, but I couldn't find in my disorganization of my ridiculousness, I couldn't find my couldn't find the box that had my needles in it and I have a huge when you see how big this box of needles is you're gonna be like oh my god what was wrong with you but it's in the garage I'm 100% sure thought he was helping me yesterday clean up my I was reorganizing some stuff and trying to find some stuff for a project that I told you guys I'm making those canvases well, I'm missing some paints and stuff and he was trying to help me find them for these those big canvases that I'm making so I think in his zealousness to help me that he may have just uh picked up some stuff and stuck it in there, you know, and so I couldn't find it, and so instead of doing our, we were going to be doing our, our sewing today, just making embellishments, but you can never have too many embellishments. Do you guys love embellishments? I love embellishments, and you can make these paper clip embellishments out of anything. So I got some really cool for 1940s and 50s magazines, but they're really fragile. So I may cut them up and make some embellishments. I got a whole collection of 40s and 50s Time Life magazines. It's like one of them has Grace Kelly on the front. She's beautiful. Like from that time. It was amazing. So I'm just making some embellishment some one of a kind embellishment so this one was out of an encyclopedia page that I just took a rubber stamp to and then I put some spray ink on another piece of paper because these encyclopedia pages are so super thin but you get the idea right it's like you can make it with anything and then, then after it dries I'm gonna put some diamond glaze on it but I'm not gonna do it till it dries When it totally dries, I'm going to come back and put some diamond glaze on the top. And what's really cool is because the pages are kind of transparent for these um, encyclopedia pages, it does something really cool. In fact, if it dries enough, I'll show you. What rules are you breaking, Jamie? There's no rules here. There are no rules. The only rule I have is be nice to each other. Oh, you'll unlock it so I can see. I just want, I need something for, or, or email me a, p, a picture you think would look good on the front of my journal. I just need a vintage image for my journal. That's all. Jimmy, I don't have any rules. My only rule is be nice to each other. I've just been involved in so many groups, especially on Facebook, where not everybody's nice to each other. I have to tell you that that is like the worst for me like why would you want to spend your free time with people that aren't nice to you okay I will tell you this when you're going to paint these with diamond glaze um, what Michelle I don't 
don't know. You saw that. I don't know if it's a person or an, I don't know. Send me what you think. You know? Okay, so when you're going to paint these with diamond glaze, what I want to show you what I do is I take the paper, I put a paper clip underneath it because you've got to have something to hold on to it when you're painting it. Okay, have you guys used this diamond glaze before? I don't know if it needs a person or an image. You saw how busy it is. It's kind of busy, Michelle. So, like, I don't know. I don't know what it needs. So, I am going to... How many of you guys... I don't know if I want a person. I like the little girl that I had, but I think that she was like too... I don't know. You can post soap in our Facebook group. We're happy that. We're happy. We're happy you post your soap there. Okay, so this is how I do this diamond glaze. And you guys may... So I always try to put something underneath it because... It, it's dimensional, so it's going to run off to the edges. It just is. And you, it won't run over, but it, and it's also an adhesive. So you just want to do a really thin layer. It's going to be thicker. It's got like sort of the consistency of, I don't know. I guess of watered down glue, but it's got a, it's got a thickness to it. Now, if you wanted to, when you start painting with this, you could put some bits of uh, glitter and stuff in it. <laughs> Bye, Valerie. Maybe I'll see you on Friday. Now, it's going to be thicker than you're used to, so don't try to even it out, okay? It does its own self-leveling if you lay it down. You know, it, it'll do its own... Like, you can't get a, you can't get a perfect coat on it. It's going to do its own self-leveling if you lay it down on a flat surface. Okay? So don't try to get in, in it, and it won't hold brush marks. But if you wanted to add like some glitter or some stuff like that, you could do that. You could even like add some other bits of stuff to it too. Okay, can you see? I don't know if you can you see the dimension on it? I don't know. Does it show up up there for you guys or I can't tell. Night Valerie. Mary Kay said that it has the consistency of triple thick gloss glaze. She's right. What Mary Kay said. So, but do you, but do you see like, can you see the back of it? It's going to slide onto the page this way, so it'll make a corner. So if you guys have some cool stamps, you know, Dawn, I'm not the expert on diamond glaze. I just enjoy using it. Okay? It is a dimensional... It's called a dimensional adhesive. Okay? I pour mine into the cap. Isn't that terrible? It's called a dimensional adhesive. This big bottle was about $8, and it's water-based. Okay? It says, use directly over artwork for raised glass-like finish or as a dimensional glue for glitter, beads, glass, metal, plastic, and paper. So you can use it to adhere all those things. It says, do not shake, apply directly on, or dilute with water. Pigments and dyes can be added, so you can make it like a glaze, all right? I will tell you that if you drop it and you make like a dent in your page, like say, say I don't lay this one flat and it falls over, like it falls over and I get like a big dent in it, because it, it, it is dimensional, right? So I get a big dent in it. If you add a little bit of water and paint back over it, it'll before it dries, it'll smooth it all out. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, but you have to like, it's not like regular, I don't know. You guys just try it out. It's not expensive. I bought that big bottle. It was about $8. It's lasted me probably two years, maybe three years. It's lasted me a while. You can also, it's, it's sort of like stickles. Have you used stickles before? Hey, Sean. Is that how you say your name? <laughs> now your tags are going to need paperclip things. Oh, you're so funny, Jamie. No, they don't need it. But, I mean, it's a cool way. If you're making yourself one-of-a-kind stuff, it's a cool way to, like... So you would do the same thing with these. You would add this diamond glaze to it. Okay? You do want to let it dry. I mean, you do want to leave it... Um, you want to dry it flat. Because if you sit it up, it's going to run down to the bottom. Okay, so it's like not, I like it because it, it does give it a glass-like surface, but if you're using these like super fragile paper things, what I find, especially as paper clips, what I find is it, um, you know, you can use them for a really long time, makes them really durable. Night, Susan! I don't know if you can make your own diamond glaze. It's it's dimensional acrylic clear. You know, it's like clear fingernail polish for crafting. Is that better? It's got this consistency of fingernail polish, of like a clear coat of fingernail polish. You know, I've never tried to make my own. I wouldn't even know what you would make it out of. You know, it what it does is it gives it like a hard surface. So, you know, you can... You know, I think there's some things that you can make your own DIY hack of, but I think for this, I would just break down and buy it for the $8. I think you'd probably have to spend more money on whatever your DIY hack was than, you know. These are not scrapbook paper, Jamie. This is just magazine pages. Magazine pages, book pages, not scrapbook paper. None of this is scrapbook paper. You can use it on scrapbook paper. I'm not telling you not to buy your, use your scrapbook paper. Mine is just book pages and magazine pages, okay? But this is what I like making my paper clips out of, primarily because I don't want to go buy a bunch of stuff. And the other thing is, is that then I can make it exactly how I want it. If you have, like, cool stamps, you could do the same thing with your tissue paper. Stamp on your tissue paper, cut it out. Or, you know, glue it onto something, cut it out, and you know, so you want me to send you guys some aloha? Okay. I'm always sending you guys aloha. I had the most coolest day yesterday part of the well part of the day was like rough but part of it was just so amazing and it rained like buckets so my yard really needed it my jungle needed some rain but the energy was amazing yesterday did you guys feel it did, are you how many of you are like energy sensitive to like where you notice things Or are you sensitive to like, you know, full moons and that sort of thing? Is anybody like energy sensitive like that? But look how cool this is gonna be when they all finally when they all finally dry. They're gonna be like so cool. They're gonna be like super cool. Now I don't you know, I don't know the ins and outs of diamond glaze dawn. I wish I did, but I don't.
Now you do have to like, once you've got your stuff on there and you've coated every, you, you can see where it's not coated and you've coated everything, don't, don't re-mess with it. Don't mess with it. Just let it go. And you, but you do have to, you do want to dry it um, flat. We're happy you're here with us, Sean. Come back anytime. We're all, we're here on Tuesdays and Fridays. It helps what I said. You know, I'm not the so for me, I like really cool old vintagey papers, and I can tell you what's cool about this Dawn is it doesn't turn it a color. Like you could add a pigment to it, like it says, you can add a pigment to it, and it'll be, and it'll, and you could add like a you know a thin layer of. I added some pigment to one the other day, and it dries clear. So even though right now it might look a little, um, it might look a little. Muddy, uh, murky, it won't. It'll dry completely clear because these are dried clear and I put it on these too. Now what's cool is if you guys went and did your serendipity paper, you know how cool your pieces would be in with that? It would be like, rocks are cool, right? With your serendipity paper. Sean, where are you from? Glossy accents can be yellowish. Well, I haven't experienced that with diamond glaze. I, I really haven't used glossy accents that much. Hi, Mildred. You guys all send Mildred some love. Mildred's moving on Friday. Sean, I miss where you're from. I'm sorry, I the the chat goes up if I'm and I don't get to see it. It goes scrolls by too fast. Dublin, awesome. Dublin is awesome. I have a, one of my dearest friends lives in Dublin. Serendipity paper is one of a kind made paper and you can make it out of your scraps. And this is what I've made mine out of. Now you could use scrapbook paper. I'm not telling you not to use scrapbook paper. This is just what I have, okay? So it's like die cuts and book pages and whatever you wanted to put on yours, right? And then I've gone back, I haven't done it on these, but then generally after you do this, you would paint on it or stamp on it. You could, you know, do all kinds of stuff and then you cut your pieces out of it. It makes one of a kind paper. So like that's what this is. And look at, look at the dimension of the one of a kind paper. Look, can you see these two? The the two hearts are ser the two big hearts are serendipity paper. So you can make it out of anything, you guys. It's like it's up to you. It's like how I use all my my scraps, you know? how I use all my scraps of paper but it, it gives it a cool dimension it looks like you know you can make it look like a collage well Mildred we were gonna sew our journal together and because of my ridiculous moving you know, whatever my calamari and my electrical stuff we didn't do it because I can't find my can't find my my sewing box Well, I did those hearts a couple of last week or the week before when we were making something. I just cut them out of the serendipity paper. So when you make your serendipity paper, when you finish with it, somebody sent me, I got like, I don't know how many, Nightmare, I don't know how many emails I got or questions I got was like, well, what do I do with them? Okay, girls, your imagination's your limit. What do you want to do with them? I mean, you know, do you want to make embellishments with them? Make embellishments with them. You know, it depends upon how thick the pages are that you made your serendipity paper out of. If you made it out of really super thick paper, 
embellishments are probably your best bet. But if you made it out of like really thin paper, then maybe, you know, you could even use it as a journal cover. You know, you could use it as a collage journal cover or something like that. I mean, it's up to you what you do your ser use for your ser use your serendipity paper on. I made Christmas ornaments with mine. If you have punches that work or a die cutting machine, if you don't have punches like mine, which are mine have seen better days, you have a die cutting machine. You can make them out of, you could, you know, cut them or you know do whatever works for you. It's like the sky's the limit. There's no rules. Make it up as you go along. You don't know what you're going to do with them. Figure it out. Like it's not. It's not like there's any right or wrong. Calamari totally hid the stuff from, from me. You guys, you're so funny. I do paper crafting, Sean. I'm also a jeweler, but I haven't done any jewelry stuff for you guys. Maybe I did. Maybe I did some, like, beading or whatever. Something super simple beading, but... I haven't done any, um... Any real major... No, it's not Liquitex. It's by it's by a, it's by a company called Judikins. J U D I K I N S. And it's called Diamond Glaze. G L A Z E. Dimensional adhesive. So, and it's not expensive. I bought mine on Amazon. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can get free shipping. Are you an artist, Sean? Are you just a fan of YouTube? I mean, I'm both. Like, I like I'm an artist, but I love YouTube. So I made. Who asked me if it was scrapbooking paper? No, mine are images from magazines. Okay, so this is what I cut mine out of, and I just used a punch. But you can freehand cut it. You don't need punches to do anything, and that's what this is. Isn't that cool that you can make an embellishment out of a magazine page? Like, cool patterning you see in a magazine page. So you said you enjoy arts. You, you enjoy any art? That's awesome. And you currently got tied up in, in restoration for some reason, and that's become an addiction. I, have, I mean, restoration is in restoring a house or restoring art. Oh no, Anne. That's freaking me out a little bit. You have a snake? Ugh. No, thank you. We don't have snakes here in Hawaii, so that's... <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better. You have a snake on your patio. We don't have any snakes here. Hawaii doesn't have any snakes or really any poisonous anything. We have centipedes. Well, I guess we have scorpions. Centipedes and scorpions, but no snakes. Unless somebody brings them here and they really don't look... They kind of frown upon that. And then, many years ago, I don't know how many years ago, you know, when the shipping industry really was full, full force, they, um, you know, rats come on ships. So then somebody got the bright idea that they would bring rats to combat the... I mean, bring mongoose to combat the the rats well mongoose um are not nocturnal so it was like a whole thing so if anybody does bring any sort of snakes here the mongoose kill them all so oh no well my friends i really love you guys so much and thank you for hanging out with me today i'm sorry i was just scattered I am going to, on Friday we'll work on our, our, um, on Friday we'll work on our greeting cards, our, our greeting cards, our junk mail greeting cards. If you want to join us on Friday, Sean, we, we make, we're going to make junk mail greeting cards. You know, the kind, I don't know, do you guys have junk mail in Dublin? Restoration of furniture. Woo, that sounds fun. You've done a few vehicles with friends. 
Restoration does become a thing. I've re renovated and restored old homes. And can I tell you, horsehair plaster may be romantic, but it isn't in a renovation. <laughs> so we're going to make one of a kind greeting cards on Friday. Go over to the Facebook group and add what you'd like on your crafty wish list so that we can all like be on the same page. If you guys have some stuff that you want to add to the crafty wish list. Um, next Tuesday we'll definitely be sewing, we'll be sewing together our shabby chic junk journal and um, I'll try to decide on the cover of mine. I do have some more stamping images I'm going to add to it. <laughs> I have tried on into embellishments. I love embellishments. I'm actually a little bit addicted to that. Sean, don't try, don't start making paper crafting because it'll just be an, addic an addiction. I think it's worse than renovation. Thanks for you guys. Thanks everybody for sending each other some happy mail. It makes me so happy when I see that you guys have racked each other and everybody's really enjoying it. For those of you that haven't joined us and want to join us, we're going to start probably the following Tuesday. By the following Tuesday, um, we're going to do, we'll sew our shabby chic junk journal together and then maybe we'll even uh, start the new one, start a new journal. It doesn't have to be shabby chic, just a plain journal. Laura, I'm every Tuesday and Friday at the same time, which is 9 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, but it's, it's 3 o'clock Hawaii time, my time. And I, you know... I really appreciate you guys hanging with me. I'm sorry that we didn't sew our thing together, but we'll do it on Friday and we'll make some more, you know, start making your magazine clip embellishments. You don't have to make yours like this. You can fussy cut around them. I was just showing you, giving you some ideas of what you might want to have fun doing. Okay, everybody, close your eyes. I'm going to send you some, some aloha. So close your eyes and inhale and exhale. And one more time. And always from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha. Oh, I love you. I love you guys. Um, then we're just gonna do the same envelope, Mildred. The same four by six by nine envelope. We're gonna do the same six by nine envelope. So, but I'll try to put out a a, a um a a list. We're gonna make it super simple. So it's only gonna be ten pages. Sean, if you wanna make it with us, you might like it. It's only gonna be ten pages. Six by nine manila envelope, 10 pages to fit inside, 10 pages folded, which will be 20. It's only gonna be a single signature journal, and then we'll make a certain amount of library pockets, some tucks, we'll just go through the whole thing and we'll bling out, we'll sort of like, um, just totally deck out this little tiny 10 page, uh, 20 page journal, and that way, you can take this same energy and method into something else and we'll make it with we'll make it with um we'll make it with uh just stuff you have at home if you want to do with book pages um it's a treat to be with you and big hugs if you want to um make it with book pages, copy paper, you know, any sort of paper you want. You could use your scrapbooking paper if you want, but I, what I really want you guys to have the experience of is making something in one sitting. Okay, so if you, I will make a list and we'll just try to do the whole live stream making this little small junk journal from beginning to end. Okay, and that way if you have the experience of doing it in one sitting, obviously if you want to tea dye your paper, you have to come with your paper dyed. Okay, you can't tea dye your paper and make the journal. So you'd have to like tea dye your paper before the journal, you know, before, if that's what you wanted to do. But that's totally up to you. But really, it's really about making the structure of a of a junk journal so you can do it from beginning to end in one sitting. So then you'll know what's going on. Okay, so Fridays, 
Friday, what you need to, to bring is junk mail postcards. Does any, uh, let me see if I have one that's not painted. Guys, I've painted all mine. Hang on, let me see if I can find one. You know what I mean? It's like the, it's the mail you get in the, it's the stuff you get in the post, uh, in the mail. Sorry, I'm dropping my stuff. It's the thicker, it's like this. Okay? Like a junk mail postcard. You need a few of these. All right? And if you don't have junk mail postcards, then just bring some cardstock. You know, just bring, it needs to be thicker than regular um, scrapbooking paper. We're going to make some greeting cards. Um, we're going to make some greeting cards that will fit like a gift card. We're going to make greeting cards that will fit, um, we're going to make greeting cards that will fit a gift card. I'm going to show you how to make a greeting card that you can put your, if you made those Christmas ornaments with us that you can fit those in there or maybe you even want to send like a paper clip embellishment or that's th thanks Ann, you're so sweet um you'll need junk mail you need paint you need some sort of a pva glue like mod podge thick designer tacky or elmer's glue all because you want it to end up with a nice texture on top and i always use that you want paint junk mail a pokey tool if you want to wrap yours around like if you want to like a darning needle or a push pin or something or a whole small hole punch if you want to some of my greeting cards I put ties around so I'm just going to show you how to do all of those um, a book and you do need some book pages like any sort of but they have to be um, you know with just text because we're going to use that for our um, use that to make our Christmas stuff with you might want to check them and make sure they're not racy. You guys know my racy tech books page story. Um, let me think of what else. Some paint, maybe some markers, a ruler if you want your straight. Um, glue. It's really all. That's all I can think of. So and oh, and also bring a brown paper bag if you guys want to. If you guys want to learn how to make an envelope that'll fit any size greeting card, I, I like to, you can use anything, but everybody seems to have brown paper bags. You could do that today. Um, if you want to, you can use anything to make your envelope. I like to use a brown paper. I'm just trying to think of what else you need. Paint, scissors, glue. If you have a circle punch, bring that. Not necessary, though. Mm. Carrie, don't worry. You can make it out of anything. I just get a lot of those post. I get a lot of this. And you guys, these are really expensive. The the mail, the stuff is expensive. You know, the, the cardstock is expensive. And I get tired of throwing it away. So I make cards out of it. Oh, the other thing you could bring if you wanted to is some stamps, rubber stamps. If you guys have any holiday rubber stamps you want to use, bring that and some white tissue paper. And we'll do some, we can do some tissue paper overlay. Does that work good for everybody? You're welcome, Mary Kay. Thanks for hanging out. I'm really grateful you guys stamps like like rubber stamps like if you have a rubber stamp since you're making holiday cards if you have a rubber stamp that says Merry Christmas or you have a rubber stamp that says good night Nicole you have a beautiful evening too if you have a rubber stamp that says um, you know Merry Christmas or you have a rubber stamp stamp that, that has a Christmas theme on it I mean it's not necessary it's just if you wanted to do uh, rubber stamp overlay you can use it you can also freehand draw it many times I just freehand draw it's only if you want to I mean we're gonna make two or three different kinds one to fit a gift card so if you guys wanted to bring like an old credit card or an old gift card or something so you can measure the size of it we're gonna make one that'll fit a gift card because the one thing I really dislike more than anything is when you spend $25 on a gift card and then you have to spend $5 on a card to put the gift card in I'd rather spend $30 on the gift card and zero on the card that you put the gift card in. Hi, Grace. Glad to see you. Oh, I'm glad you're able to chat. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here.
But I'll put a list up. I'll put it first of all. I'll do two things. One thing is I'll put a list up for the stuff. You're in Newport. Awesome. Um, the one thing I'll do is I'll put a list up for what you need on the Facebook group. Um, and maybe I can put it up and I'll, I'll schedule a stream for Friday and I'll put it in the, the comment, I mean in the, you know, description box of what you're going to need to make your, your greeting card gift cards. Um, and then I'll also do one for, I'll put in our Facebook group for our new, you know, 20 page junk journal made with a, made with a envelope. Now, if you don't have an envelope, don't go out and buy yourself. I mean, I guess you guys can buy, like, those little tiny manila envelopes, those 6 by 9 ones, really inexpensively at the dollar store. But if you don't have it, if you have a file folder, use that. If you wanted to make it with a, a uh, my head can't think, cardstock or um, a thick piece of junk mail, you could do that for your cover, too. You know what? I'm right there with you, Jamie. I don't give cards very much unless I make them. Okay? Unless I make them. Oh, hi, Marcy. Oh, no worries. We love you, too. We're happy. We're happy to see you. We're happy that you're here. We, I love the new piece you posted in the group, Marcy. It was, it was gorgeous. It was just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Oh, you're welcome, Grace. I hope. Oh, you're welcome. I hope that you. I hope you try them. It's they're actually really fun to make. You know, they're super fun to make. They're sort of addictive, especially if you start fussy cutting out boots. I make them with high heels, you guys. I'm sure some of you've gotten if you've if you've ever traded journals with me, which I'm not doing right now, you guys. I'm a little bit overwhelmed with my own mess, but when I get back to it, I'll let you know. But if you've ever traded journals with me, you will find that I have made many, many things out of... I make paper clips out of everything because I'm into it. Marcy, we really love what you're doing with your art. We, we really think it's great. And we... I, I am appreciative that you're posting it in your... I'm posting it in the group. Okay, my loves, I am going to send you some more loving aloha energy. And always from my heart to your heart, I'm always sending you so much aloha. Always, always, always. Big huge hugs. Head over to our Facebook group, and if you guys aren't a member, please request to join. We would love to have you. Alright girls, see you Tuesday.